Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, after Paul says to the Ephesians, after I've heard about your faith, I've heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for the saints. Your love for the saints. Do not cease to do what? To do what? To do what? Give thanks. Look at the context. To give thanks for you, making mention of you in what? My prayers. Look at the context. Prayer. Prayer. Everybody say prayer. prayer. Next verse. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of what? Wisdom and revelation in the knowledge, in the knowledge of Him. I've shared on this before that wisdom and revelation comes from the knowledge, the knowing. That word knowledge means the knowing, the building of relationship with Christ. Knowing, the knowing of him. 18, next. Then it says that the eyes of your understanding. Do you see that? The eyes. That's what they call the third eye. The eyes eyes the eyes of your understanding see see the context paul is talking about this so-called third eye he speaks about the third eye in the context of christ in the context of relationship with christ in the context of spiritual engagement with god in the context of relationship with god the eyes of your understanding in relationship with fellowship with God in relationship with the love of the saints in context look at all the context look at the whole context he talks about their faith and all of that then he says there is an eye of understanding you have based on the fact that you have faith in Christ Jesus are you with me because you have faith in Christ Jesus go back to 15 go back to 15 go back to 15 after I heard of what after I heard of what your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for the saints do you see that in because you have faith in the Lord Jesus and you have love for the saints you are in relationship with God and you are in relationship with the saints Paul says there is an eye that exists within you give me 17 forward to 17 yes he says there is an eye that understands the relationship the mysteries of God that the eyes of your understanding will be what enlightened enlightened to have light in that third what they call third eye to have light in that eye that is the holy spirit that is the wisdom of the spirit that is the ability of the holy spirit inside of you to scan atmosphere to scan the things of the spirit to delve into spiritual realities to see beyond the natural to know beyond the natural to have a kind of knowledge that doesn't even belong in this present age 